So we are gonna make this accordion folded book. This is a little different of a book than I usually do instead of um, binding my pages in, saddle, stitch, however you want to put your pages in. I actually cut the spine out of this and this is an old Reader's Digest. And what I'm gonna use is watercolor paper. So what I've done is I've looked at how wide this is and this book is um, just over five inches. So I wanted my page, I wanted it just a little smaller. So it's five inches and then this book is seven and a half. And this is just under that. So I just wanted it a little smaller than the actual covers. Now what I added to this was I have I took the I, I have scored in the center here, but I have also put a half inch out here. So this is five, another five, which is ten, and then a half. So this is ten and a half inches, and I've scored at the half inch line and at the center line. So this is zero, five, ten, and then you have your half inch there. So the sheet of paper is actually seven and a half by ten and a quarter and so I am going to do this with all of these pages and I've done nine pages that are just like that you can see these now the tenth page I've made a little bit bigger so this is actually ten in okay that was ten and a quarter this is going to be 10 and a half. There's five inches here, five inches here, a quarter inch here, and a quarter inch here. Looks a little bigger, but you know what? It is what it is. And this is going to be our very front page. So what I'm gonna do is use a heavy double stick tape, and I am going to put this in here and actually and you could do it either way I'm gonna do it this way so that little clip folds in here this is taped down but if I put another sheet of really fun paper that will cover that up so let me just use my double stick tape real quick and believe it or not this is really really simple everyone's like And everybody gets their own roll of tape. Yes, I put a roll of tape in every single thing. It's like, okay, you're not going to run out of tape. Now, you could put it this way. And coming up, I just kind of like this because then I could actually cover that, um, that little tab that I have in here. So I'm going to press this down. Now, ideally, what I would have done, so depending which way you're putting it in, you're gonna know which way to fold this. Okay, so I would have done this page up if I wanted to do watercolor, if I wanted to journal on it, if I wanted to do sewing, add fabric to it, uh, trim to it, some metal embellishments, anything. I would have done my page. And you could even do the back if you would like. Then I put it in. So, when I am done with this page, I have my next page. It's flat on this end, and it's folded back here. So, I am going to tape this to this. And same thing, after this is already done and embellished, you can put it in, and you can really work on your piece without having to struggle with holding pages back, which is usually kind of a downfall for me, working on certain journals and books because you really have to make sure everything's masked off. You have something behind every page if you're gonna be painting it. Does that make sense? Don't you think that's kind of a pain sometimes too? Not really. Or especially if you wanna sew on your pages at all, this makes it either easier. So I'm just gonna line this one up. So let's get these all lined up. And I have my score line, so I can move it back or forth or whichever way I want it to be. That's why. <laughs> it's to be like that. And 
and actually you just turn your paper over. If you've scored it one way, just turn it over and it fits the other way or however you would like it to be. Let's just get all these put in nice and quickly. that look wrong? Oh, it's just a stick. <laughs> I'm just going to do a couple more and we'll get to the end. How's that? I probably should just do the whole thing, but I don't want to. Just make sure this is lining up. And I'm not going too far back. Unless it kind of is, but Doesn't matter, does it? Do you ever get backwards on things? You just look at it and go, that just doesn't look right? Mm -hmm. All the time. Okay. Good. <laughs> you know what? I'm almost done with those. Okay, so after we've got all of our sheets in here, all you're going to do is put tape on this back edge and tape it to the other side. I really like this because this really could be a, a never-ending art journal or something else if you love to do certain projects and you keep adding things in for the year maybe and you would have a really fun journal for the year with your art. And it will just be as big or as small as you want it to be. I'm doing something here. So I'll move this straight. Um, and now it's kind of gooey. <laughs> okay, let's make sure it's lined up. The front spine to the back spine. So now, and seeing if I add a piece of paper here, and it looks like I got a little bit off. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that for right now. I want you to get the gist. Make sure you're being very careful when you put this together. But look how fun that is. And you could add anything into it to the front or the back. Now the last thing we're going to do is we are either going to put some sort of a buckle or a lace or something around this where you can take it and tighten it. And you can make it as big or as small as you want, depending how many pages you have in it. If it ends up being this thick, you're going to need something a lot, lot longer. But I think this would be a really fun way to showcase all of your art and if you only have a few pieces it could be really cute just to hang it and have it all hanging down 
So you can add whatever you would like to this fun journal, but it's just a little bit different of a way to make a journal. Hope you try this out, but whatever you do, have fun.